morning guys and welcome to what is this day five day five of the bagless readathon it's so crazy so i did not wake up as early as i wanted to it is now 10 o'clock and my hair appointment is at 10 30. so all i did was throw a load of laundry in and feed my dog and didn't even make any coffee or anything we're just gonna have coffee later but i'm gonna go to my hair appointment i'm just getting it like washed and cut like trimmed and stuff so i shouldn't have to be there too long but then when i come home i need to edit yesterday's vlog and a video for my main channel for tomorrow i need to like clean the whole house you know it hasn't had a good cleaning in a while and it just like you know it just feels like it needs a cleaning we are going to get all this stuff done today and hopefully still have time to finish a book and continue and like start reading another one <sighs> this is my life you guys like if i'm not working full time then i'm working full time at home it's crazy let's go i think i'm gonna listen to the audiobook still of this is how it always is since that's what I've been doing. And so this should be, do I need to bring my battery? I'll bring it just in case. Okay, let's go. It is a beautiful day outside. It rained yesterday. So now it's so beautiful out today. And the weather is like so nice. Like I don't even have to wear a coat. Back from getting my hair cut. I don't really love it because I asked her to like have like to layer it and to have some shorter pieces um, So that way when I put my hair up like some of them can fall down, but like she did this really weird like choppy bang thing So now I'm probably gonna have to go to a different place There's a place like where I work or in the town that I work in that I like loved going to I always went there and they always did a great job, but I don't want to have to drive an hour every time i have to go get my hair done so i've been going to a different place here where we live but i think before work one day i'm gonna have to go in and be like can you please fix this thing because like i want it to like just you know flow with the rest of my hair like i want it to be layered within my hair so that way when i do put my hair up like a couple pieces will fall down i don't want this choppy like this choppy bang thing like what the heck what is that? Why do people not know how to cut hair? I just don't understand it. Okay, I might also be grumpy because I haven't had coffee yet today because I am just like, I'm feeling in a very grumpy mood and do not like it. So we're gonna make some coffee. I am almost done with my book actually. So that's really good. I think I'm going to, since I've been listening to it, I think I'm going to make coffee and then I'm going to listen to the rest of it while I clean the house. And then that way I feel super productive and I can sit down and edit all my videos and then I'll be able to start a brand new book. So that is my plan. I can't really like sit down and edit because I just feel like the house is dirty. So I definitely want to clean it before I do anything. I'm also chilly. I opened all the windows, but I'm like chilly. So I'm going to put on like a little sweater thing until I actually start cleaning and then I get hot. Hey Google, play Wash Them Dishes playlist on Spotify. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I would get up again
it is about to be two o'clock and I haven't eaten anything yet so I have the microwave going. I'm heating up some leftover spaghetti squash that I had made a couple days ago. So I'm finishing my coffee from this morning and then also eating that. I need to start editing the vlog from yesterday because that's not up yet. <laughs> Whoops. And I got a lot of cleaning done. Like I cleaned the whole house I rearranged the bedroom again because we are about to start working on the bedroom. We're gonna get like a brand new bedroom set and a new mattress and paint it to match like these white walls. I'm really excited about it because bedroom's something that I've been wanting to like fix for a while. And I'm really, really excited to like start shopping for like an actual bed. I wanna get a bed where it's like, it has a headboard, but it doesn't really have the footboard because I wanna be able to like get into it instead of walking all the way around. And then I moved the bed back. We used to have it like this, but um, I had put it in front of the window because I didn't like having to walk all the way around the bed for me to get in. And so I didn't like that it was blocking the window because that window always stayed closed with the darkening curtains. So now instead I just moved it back and that's probably where it's gonna stay once we get the new bedroom set. And then that way I can have both windows open and have like the airflow going because I noticed that the bedroom seemed kind of stale this winter. And I think it's because like we never got to open that window all last year. Really excited to start shopping for that. I actually, I ran out of like baking soda and vinegar and stuff while I was cleaning. And I really don't want to go to the store, but I also need to get dog food. So I was gonna look it up on Amazon and see if I can just find what I usually use and just get it like Amazon primed to my house because I really, I've heard horror stories about the coronavirus and people going to the store and like everything costing a lot of money and taking forever and I really don't have the time to do that today. But I did not listen to the book. I actually forgot to listen to the book because I just always cling to music. So I still have to finish it but it shouldn't take me too long. I only have like I don't know maybe 50 pages left I think. So after I start like this vlog uploading and stuff it'll probably take like 30 minutes or something for it to upload then i can finish that book and then i want to start a new book i think i'm going to start the last mrs parish because everyone tells me that it's amazing plus the audiobook is on scribd so i think i'll start reading it today and then tomorrow when i go to work i can listen to the audiobook read it when i come home listen to the audiobook sunday when i go to work and then read the rest of it sunday night and hopefully finish that so that would be my third book I know I really wanted to read four books, like that was my goal, but it's just not gonna happen. There's just no way I can do daily vlog and work a full-time job and also keep up with like my main channel and do all the things like cleaning and all this kind of stuff. Like there's no way. There's just no way I can read like a shit ton of books and do all of that stuff. It's just not possible unless I didn't want to get any sleep. And I've been very careful trying to get sleep this week and I've been taking a lot of vitamin D. I usually supplement with vitamin D but I've been like upping it um, because I really do not want to get coronavirus. So I've been trying to get my sleep in, trying to eat healthy, trying to get my vitamin D. I've been making Alvin take vitamin D and everything and we do not want to get sick because that would be bad. It would be really cool though if my job like closed for like two weeks because I work at a college. They're not going to, they said so far, because we haven't had any cases around us yet. But it would be really cool because ugh, do you know how many books I could read in a week if I didn't have to go to work? So many. Okay, so I'm going to eat my spaghetti squash with meat sauce. I love spaghetti squash so much. I make it in my Instapot and it's so, so good. And I made my own homemade meat sauce and stuff. So I'm gonna eat this as a leftover and edit and I will check up with you guys very soon. Hello. So it is a long time later. It is six o'clock. I finished editing my vlog for day four and then I started editing like the video for my main channel just a little bit but I keep getting sidetracked with like all of the coronavirus news and stuff and so I don't know. It's really hard for me to be like in the correct mind space right now to be editing what I need to edit and also to be reading what I need to read. Like I feel like my mind is just like crazy. So I only have like 50 pages left of, this is how it always is. So I'm taking a break on editing cause I just cannot think about that right now. And I'm going to try and read the last few pages 
of this. I have to figure out where I'm at. Yeah, I definitely, I think I'm on like page 290 or something like that. And there's only 320 pages. So I am almost finished with this book and I'm literally gonna sit and finish it right now. I also got a swap book, I think, by Dark Vanessa. Really excited, I swapped for this. It has deckled pages, which I do not like those. There you go, yeah. Do not like those, but whatever. I've actually heard that this is really good. This is about a 15 year old who is having an affair with her 42 year old English teacher. But I think we find out later that she was actually technically sexually abused. And so I am very, very excited to read this. I hope that I enjoy it. Like I hope the writing style, I heard the writing style isn't that great and you know how weird I am about writing styles. So really excited to put this one on my shelf and um, and see how it is. So anyway, I'm gonna get to reading now. I really would love to like watch something tonight. I don't know. The coronavirus stuff just kind of like has gotten me in like a funk or whatever. Um, especially since like my husband and I, we both work at a college and they have not closed yet. Like they have no intentions of closing. And so, you know, we have to be around a lot of people all day long. We're both in dining services. And so you have to touch their cards and swipe them, you know, for their meal swipes and stuff like that. And I'm just really hoping that we don't come into contact with any of the coronavirus. So yeah, I'm worried. Cause like I was off today, but my husband had to work all day long. Like he came home late last night and then had to be back in at 6.30 in the morning and work all like he's gonna be, I don't think he's gonna come home until like nine o'clock. And then he was supposed to be off tomorrow, but now he's gonna have to work all day tomorrow as well. So it's just really crazy right now. And I'm just in like a really weird mood. I don't know, ever since I started reading more stuff on Facebook and online and everything about the coronavirus, now I'm just like in a weird mood. Like I love reading books about the end of the world, but I would never wanna live the end of the world. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so we finished. This is how it always is. I think I am going to rate it a three. I was actually going to rate it a four when I was like at the midway point, like yesterday when I was reading, I was really enjoying it, was gonna rate it a four. Then the whole, cause it's, it's divided into four parts. Part three totally could have just been taken out. Like part three was of no use to me. They go to Thailand. It's not they, it's actually Rosie and Claude go to Thailand. And um, I just felt like that whole section was not needed. I would have rather had this book, cut, like had that whole section cut out, would have been way better. Um, so I felt like I was listening to something that didn't need to be in there. It was very boring to me during that part, um, which was very sad because it was like totally ramped up. I really enjoyed the book. And then I hate when books do that where it's like, you know, you're at this, you're like up here and then you like turn the page and it's like part whatever, or you turn the page and it's like 25 years ago when you were like totally reading in the present time. And that just makes it like really hard to continue on with the story because in my head, I have to kind of like configure everything that I knew and start from a different place. So it, it might be like a 3.5, I don't know. It's definitely not a four now. Between a three and 3.5, probably rating it a three on Goodreads might put in my review that it's a 3.5, I'm not sure yet, but I understand and appreciate that I read this book so I could see different sides to the story and I read the author's note in the back and so yes, the author had a little boy that changed into a little girl. Um, so, you know, this was kind of their story, but not really, but it said about how I really liked how she was saying how, you know, as a parent, you never know if you're doing the right thing. It says the novelist in me was inspired by the metaphor too, how no matter the issue, parenting always involves this balance between what you know, what you guess, what you fear and what you imagine. But I do understand that being a parent feels like that where you never know if you're making the right decisions. And so, you know, throughout this whole book, it was like, you know, should the parents be making that decision? I feel like the ending kind of got muddled for me, especially after the Thailand, the Thailand thing, it became so much of a metaphor instead of the actual story to me. And I don't know, I guess I'm just such a black and white type of person 
that not really getting the answer in the end like that for an issue like this really just like like i don't know it's not like i need to know who claude slash poppy is but at the same time i just feel like nothing was fixed that nothing was really i don't know what the word i'm looking for but i don't know i don't know what the word is but i'm really hoping that what i'm saying right now no one's gonna take offense to and like i hope no one takes offense to the fact that i did rate this just in the middle you know ground for me it just wasn't a mind-blowing book like i haven't i can't relate to this i haven't gone through these issues it's not a bad book either i totally would recommend this to people that i know would love reading this and so that's just how I feel about the topic and just how I feel about it all in general. So we're going to move on to The Last Mrs. Parrish. This is about Amber. Uh, it says she's tired of being a nobody, a plain, invisible woman who blends into the background. She deserves more, a life of money and power like the one blonde-haired, blue-eyed goddess Daphne. So it says, Amber uses Daphne's compassion to insinuate herself into the family's life, the first step in a meticulous scheme to undermine her. Before long, Amber is Daphne's closest confidant. Okay, so it looks like this is two women. I think it's a domestic thriller, and I guess one of them might pretend to be the other one. Not exactly sure, but I've heard so many people rave about this book, so I'm very excited to start it. And I'm gonna use one of the new bookmarks that my friend Heather sent me. So I'm gonna use this one because, I mean, how summery. This screams summer, not coronavirus. Like, look at that, love it. That's what I'm going to do. Glad I finished a second book from this readathon. Good morning, guys, and happy Saturday. Let me, um, see if I can get this set up for a little bit before I hop on the interstate. So, I have turned into a very terrible vlogger because of everything that is going on right now. Last night, I was supposed to start The Last Mrs. Parish, and to be honest with you, I think I spent three or four hours on my phone watching the news and then my husband came home and we were talking about what's happening with our jobs because we both work at a college campus and they just canceled classes yesterday. They're giving everyone, I think until the 18th, for them to like move out. So we're waiting to see, like my husband is the general manager of the dining hall, so he has a lot of responsibility. And like I said, like he's working today, even though he's supposed to be off because they, normally it's like a buffet style, but they literally had to like serve everybody yesterday. So he said that like they couldn't even get their own banana or their own to-go box. Like people had to have gloves on handing them this stuff and then they couldn't go to another station and like fill up the to-go box because they weren't allowed to like hand it back to them. So he said that that was absolutely crazy. I'm not sure what we're gonna do at my job because I like we physically have to take the student cards and swipe them for like their meal swipes and like for them to pay because like we bring up the food that they want. So I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work. Especially because we have merchandise that they like hand to us and we like scan and then like they take it back. So I don't know. Do you have Nelson's blanket with me today? Unfortunately, that's the only thing that I was able to plan then for for his birthday. But I wasn't able to go out and get him anything else because I just see on social media that the stores are all super crazy. I wanna be honest, I actually, this coronavirus stuff like actually legitimately scares me. If there really were zombies, I would probably die. I'm not even lying about it. I am scared. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't even pick up The Last Mrs. Parrish last night because like I'm just like reading all this information and my mind just can't settle to be reading like a fictional book. Like I feel like once I know what's happening with my job and I'm staying home, like if they close us down and we are staying home, I feel like then that will make me feel better because I'll just be in my house and I won't have to worry about like being around all these students and stuff. I'm worried because my husband will probably still be around all those people and he'll have to come home and then hopefully he doesn't touch anything before he washes his hands so that I don't get the coronavirus because I just, I don't like getting sick. Like I hardly ever get sick in my life. As you guys should know, I mean, I pump out these videos and I haven't even, knock on wood, but I haven't even gotten like a cold or anything yet this year. I've never had the flu. Like, I just don't get these things. And I do not want to get the coronavirus. I work 10.30 until seven today. Amber reached for her water bottle, deliberately moving her foot to the edge of the machine and slipped, knocking a magazine to the floor, where it landed beneath the pedal of her neighbor's equipment. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, she said, reddening. Before she could step off, the woman... Nelson, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, but hold out your hand. A little help lane. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, you can open your eyes. It's a weighted blanket. Since I don't want to give you an actual hug ever in real life. <laughs> Every time I sleep with this, I did. I got him a hug. Yeah, he told me. Yeah, and Kiana hugged me too. Later. Whoa! Oh, I didn't know. He was like, "Are you gonna say something to me?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> Yeah, so that's the way to blanket. You can get a cover for it if you want it to be like fluffy and soft, and then that way you can easily wash the cover. Yeah, and I didn't even get I didn't even get you the one that's like for your weight because it would have been like 50 pounds. So that one's I think like 15 pounds or something or 25 pounds or something like that. I don't know. I literally had to carry it a whole this whole steps. Oh, does it? Okay, well that's good. Flex for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I have that? <laughs> All right, Lane, you want to sing happy birthday to Nelson? <gasps> All right, ready? Ready? Okay. Nope. Happy, happy, bir happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, dear Nelson. Happy birthday to you and many more. Thank you guys. I love it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Ow! <laughs> okay, I won't open it yet. You want me to hold it for you? Well, I want you to be in it with me. Hello, everybody. Oh, that lighting is horrible. I have something for you. You're holding it. Aww. This is all I get. Thank you. <laughs> I saw you with Oh, I love it. And he's gonna give me a hug. Oh, I love it. I didn't know we had to do candy one. Well, I don't have a favorite candy, so. But I mean, like, nothing would go wrong with that. Nothing would go wrong with that. I also brought candy for everybody at Empire, so food size. Nice, Emily, I love it. I don't care. Yay! Yay! Um, everyone who wasn't here to sing me happy birthday a minute ago can sing me happy birthday now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. What were you going to call me? <laughs> Thank you, Emily. I love it. Hello everybody, I'm sorry. Today is Sunday. It is the last day of the Backlist Breathathon. There has just been so much going on. It is absolutely crazy. Yesterday at work was so busy, so crazy. It's one of the busiest days I've like ever worked and I just did not feel, well, I didn't have time to film while I was at work other than giving Nelson his present like while I was on break. But then I didn't get to film like anything else because we were just like so busy. And then when I got home, I just didn't feel like even bringing out my camera. I didn't really feel like reading. I did listen to The Last Mrs. Parish on my ride there and back and then also on my ride there and back today. So just from listening to this book, I am 156, yeah, I'm 156 pages in here. So that's almost halfway. I do want to sit and read. It is 15 minutes until nine o'clock and I just got home from work and took a shower. And so I think I'm gonna sit and read. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this book tonight. I don't think I will because my husband is soon gonna be home and I haven't seen him in a while because like he was supposed to be off yesterday and he had to work also. It's just been a lot of crazy things happening because we both work at a college and all of the students are leaving by Wednesday 
but we're also still working because the students still have to be fed and so there's a lot of crazy things so i thought that i was going to be able to like get off from work because i thought that with it closing down that we were all going to close down but they do have to keep the dining hall open for the students like the international students that just like can't go home or aren't allowed to go home and so we're going to have to keep that open to feed those students and all of us are going to have to like work because like some people have kids that um you know the the schools are closed and so they have to like watch their kids but a lot of us are gonna have to continue working so there's a lot of stuff happening right now at work just you know a lot of things that aren't in the normal way a lot of things that aren't answered yet we don't know what's happening and so yeah this vlog like i started out so well like my first couple days of vlogging were like so great i was so proud of my vlogs i was getting like all this b-roll i was really thinking about like how i wanted the vlog to turn out and I made sure that happened but then as soon as this like coronavirus stuff just like started I just have not like had the time like I just emotionally have not had the time and mentally to like figure like to just keep vlogging like I normally was so I'm really sorry like usually anytime I say I'm doing daily vlogs like I always you know give you guys what i said like i hold myself to my word um but this time has just been like a crazy time like that i never would have thought and so i am really sorry that like the last three days have kind of be put together and there's not very much content at all in saying that though i am really liking this book so this is about this girl named amber and she has been like watching this like rich lady named daphne and has befriended her because she wants to like take over her life Life. like she wants to become Daphne who is Mrs. Parrish and so Amber has literally like lied about everything in order to become good friends with Daphne she wants to have Daphne's husband she wants to have all of her money like it's just really really crazy because she's lying about so many different things and I just really enjoy reading like about her slowly taking over Daphne's life it's really crazy so I think I'm going to really like this book uh it's you know pretty easy for me to listen to i have been listening to it and i am probably gonna just read a little bit of it tonight and then I'll, i have to work early in the morning again tomorrow so i'll probably listen to it tomorrow as well it seems like i'm able to listen to about a hundred pages a day if i listen to it there and back even though i probably won't finish it tonight I will still try and listen to it more and then I'll definitely get it done, you know, within this week and then I'll move on to my other things. I definitely want to read The Two Lives of Lydia Bird next. I think that's like my absolute next read that I'm going to read. So really excited about that one. Like I said, I'm going to read a little bit of this before my husband gets home and then i don't know we might just like watch something to kind of like relax from like what's been happening or talk about our day or i, I don't know what we're gonna do but okay guys so the end of the backlist readathon has come and i was able to finish two whole books and then I am over halfway in a third book. So the first book that I read and finished was The Bromance Book Club. I gave this book five stars. I loved this book. It's about a married couple and some of the hardships that they're going through. And I really, really like it because even though it does mention and talk about divorce, I love that the whole like point of the book and story is for them not to have to get a divorce and for them to fix the issues. It's super, super funny. Like it is hard and emotional but then there's also really funny parts and so i really did enjoy that and i'm really looking forward to reading the second book by this author which i actually have on netgalley and so i am going to be reading that hopefully this month <laughs> then the second book that i read was this is how it always is i ended up giving this book three stars i think i'm gonna keep it at three stars and so this book wasn't bad it just wasn't exactly for me i really did enjoy reading it and having this as my diverse book i forgot to say that my bromance book was technically i guess blue for the cover and recommended by somebody because gabby reads recommended it to me and then this is how it always is was my diverse and intimidated read and so i did enjoy like learning more about this it's about a five-year-old who 
is a boy but then wants to be a girl or thinks that he is supposed to be a girl so it's about his parents how they react to it how everybody reacts to it um, and then it goes throughout his life of him changing from Claude into Poppy and so I did enjoy mostly the middle part um, but by the end like the very last like part three was just not needed in my opinion and so that's kind of why like I would have rated it four stars but there was just like the ending and part three I just felt like weren't needed for the book I felt like it totally went a different way and it was on a different topic I still was glad that I read it because it does open my eyes to what a lot of people are dealing with then i am still reading the last mrs parish this was the third book that i picked up i actually mostly listened to this on audiobook i am on page 244 and this has like 386 pages so i am definitely over the halfway mark um but i just didn't get to finish it in time for the end of this backlist readathon but that one i was going to use as my like blue on the cover um just because i picked it up i tried reading sharp objects and couldn't get through that that was going to be my shortest book on my tbr and so technically i guess the last mrs parish could be one that i'm really excited about because a lot of people told me i was really gonna like it i am enjoying it like i don't know what my rating's gonna be yet but i am really enjoying it and i i've been having a blast like listening to it i've been listening to it on my drive to and from work because as you guys know with all of this coronavirus stuff going around i still am working so that I definitely could have finished three books and probably read partial of a fourth book but friday was when all that coronavirus stuff like started happening and i just got really overwhelmed and just like anxious about everything and i just wasn't able to read like i just couldn't turn my brain off about the coronavirus stuff so i just didn't get as much reading done as i could have i'm i'm proud of what i accomplished for this readathon i loved this readathon so much and so i'm really looking forward to when we do it again because i feel like this was my favorite readathon i just really wish that it hadn't have fallen on such a bad week for the whole world but yeah i'm proud of the books that i read this week and i hope that you guys had a blast with this readathon as well you know definitely let me know down in the comments what you actually finished reading like how your tbr went if you like this readathon if you want to do it again in the future i am trying to persuade the ladies for us to do a second round like i would love to do this twice a year so you should also try and persuade the ladies to do it a second time in the year it would be cool to do it in like a like maybe fall slash November time of the year. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed these last few vlogs. I'm really sorry that they didn't end up being daily vlogs for the second half and I didn't get a lot of content for the second half, but yeah, there's just a lot going on. But anyway, I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye everyone.